In this video, we're going to make something like you see here in this chart. To do this, we're going to go in and begin by inserting a chart. We're going to put in a bar chart. So if we go up here to chart, and we go to column chart, and you go to 2D, you can go with this type of horizontal one. As soon as you do, you're going to see that it's going to open up the Excel spreadsheet where you can put in the data. Now I've given you the data here, which actually comes from a real or real uh, citation, which I will give later the uh, website where this comes from. This is essentially a, a spread that tells about between uh, 2000 and 2018 the percentage of uh, GMO types of crops, how they have increased over the years. So I'm going to ha have to delete the final row down below. I wanted to keep this to only three sets of data so it doesn't overwhelm the actual table itself. So we're going to have 2000, 2009, and 2018. We'll go and we'll right click on the bottom row and choose to delete that row. Once we do this, then we'll go back over to the table and begin formatting, changing over to different gra graphics. Now we can jump over to PowerPoint. As you see, when we get in here, we're going to have a simple bar chart, but I would like to change this to where we have some graphics inside. If we go down and choose the actual legend for now, we'll go ahead and choose cotton to begin with and go up to the format bar and choose picture. And this is where I've already downloaded my cotton seeds that I wanted to use. and I will go up here and choose to tile them and then this is where you have to kind of play with it to see on the scale is it okay the way it looks as it is or do we need to go in there and work with the uh, the percentage um, in this case we had a 10 percent of the picture and it came out looking okay now while the three cotton bars are actually selected let's go up to the um, where we can change the series and as you notice that tab that we have it selected right now and go in and add some space between the bars notice how that is separated now we can go in and choose the corn go back in and choose the format painter or format bucket and go into the picture and we can select the corn that we've already downloaded previously we can insert that and notice that it's a little bit uh, improper so let's go ahead and you choose the tile picture and of course it's too small way too small so we're going to go in here and test out 50 percent and see if that's going to look okay and we need to be sure that we put 50 percent for the scale the x scale and also the y scale that's going to give us a decent with the corn but we're going to go ahead and increase it a little bit more and bump that one up to 80 percent and that's when it's going to look a little bit better and we can go with that if we want to we can go ahead and go with 90 to give it just a little bit bigger view and that's going to work out best for us. Now we're going to choose the final one and we're going to go in here and work on the soybeans. So we're going to go down again to the legend and select the soybeans in the legend, go over to the picture, choose file and go back again and get the soybean picture that we've already downloaded previously. And we can go in here again and choose to tile it and we'll change once again the scale. So again, be sure that you always change the scale for the X and the Y. And that looks good as it is. Now we're going to go in and add some shadow. And to add some shadow, we're going to go up here to the shadow tab. And we're going to choose the top left shadow. And that's the outer. We're going to change this to a 5 on the distance. So that actually pushes the shadow down a little bit more. And we're going to change the transparency up at the top up here to 50%. Meaning it's going to make it a little bit darker the actual shadow itself that's being cast. Now we're going to choose the corn that, that selects all three of them. Once again we're going to choose the shadow, choose the outer top left one, once again make that a five on the distance. And if you have to you can just kind of play around with these to see what looks good. But we'll go with a 50% on the shadow and once again we'll do the same thing with the soybeans.